Ashi, this is a nested class, slide number 11 out of 82. <coughs> uh, we have seen about uh, the classes type as base class and derived class till now, which actually is insufficient. There are many other classes types that we need to definitely know. The first one out of it is a nested class, which is not covered normally under any training or any uh, books as such. <coughs> Now a, a simple example is shown here in front of you in the slide here which shows what is a nested class. A class can be inside another class is what I refer to as nested class. See this here, there is a class by name car. There is a class by name car. And inside this class I have another class by name sedan and another class by name SUV. Now this class has got couple of classes inside uh, itself so we call it nested class. So there are certain rules and regulations that you need to remember for handling this class that we will see little later. Just hold on to it until then. And then, um, what is the incomplete class? Incomplete class is abstract in nature. For example, if I have a class just with declaration done, class A is here, you can see in this slide, class A is here, where I have got no content to it, class B is here, it is empty, class C has got some content. So I have not used class A and class B fully here, so I call it incomplete class. This is another type of class that we need to know. And the final class type is local class. A class can be declared inside a function. Now this is very new to uh, probably all of us. A class need not be declared just inside a class. A class need not be independent. A class can also be declared inside a class, which is referred to be as local class which means the class is very local to the function, which means the class is restricted only to the function, which means the class is owned by the function. It is very obvious. But there are few things that you need to remember uh, with respect to the local class. The local class uh, can be used only within the function scope. For example, I cannot try to access the class that is declared locally to the function from the main. Here in the slide, you can see I have tried to create a, an object for the class local in the function itself. This is okay. You can see that here I, I move my pointer here. I move my mouse here. Local star pp. I create a pointer to the um, local class that is also fine. This is absolutely legal and permitted. But when you come here, I try to access it from main local t. I cannot create an object outside the function scope. Though it is from main, I don't care, it is not permitted. And local star tp, this is also not permitted. I cannot do anything when I come outside the function's scope. This is illegal and this is not permitted. So make sure that when you are using a local class, you must restrict yourself to access the class only from the function. This is very, very important. Don't forget it. <coughs> And most important point next to what we have discussed is a local class cannot have anything as static members inside it. See this example here, I am highlighting it. The local class cannot have anything as static. It is, it is, it makes no sense actually. If you know the static rules, it makes no sense. So it is not permitted. We cannot use any static variable inside the local class. This is one thing that you must remember. And then there are uh, there are one there are few more things that we need to look in into when we uh, talk about the local class all the methods of the local class have to be declared only within the class what i mean is there are methods that are available for the class i mean inside the class there are methods available so function is the method that i have inside the class local now this is absolutely fine but what i cannot have is i cannot have the method defined outside the local class you see it here this is an error in this case in the left hand side of it you can see that very clearly in this ppt that the function is absolutely fine to be declared within the class which means all the methods of the local class are to be declared within only the class when i try to move it the moment i try to move it outside the class i am caught this is an error in execution um, Rajshree, this is page number 16 for your reference. This is page number 16. 
so this example shows you very well the execution result of the one where we have the function i mean the method inside the class is giving me the right result of hello world where when i move it outside i get a wrong result there is an error in function foo i mean that's the name of the function that i have used here so it is erroneous so local class we we need to have a recap now the local class has a local class um has got few restrictions uh, the first one is uh, the class can be used only within the function i cannot move the scope outside the function you cannot even use it from the main you cannot even use it from the moment you are out of the uh, main fu function that you have used the class in so this scope is very much restricted only to the functions that you have used the class within that's very important point point number 2 you cannot have static variables point number 3 it is very important to keep the method of the class inside the class itself the moment you are outside it you you will not be permitted to use it this is again a problem so make sure that you are aware of the rules these three are uh, normally skipped in many of the sessions and many of the books but it is very important from interview point of view if you see that we have got uh, three types of classes now other than the base class and derived class we have nested class nested class is a class which has got class inside a class this is absolutely legal and then i come to incomplete class incomplete class is the one that has got class declaration done but nothing is inside it is as of now an empty class and then comes the local class we have seen enough about the local class so let's go to the next topic rashri i have completed till page number 16 now i am going to page number 